Happy New Year. This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. I'm Costa Truva, and I'm filling in for Cristina Alupi. The public prosecutor's conclusion revealed how Greece's former prime minister, Costa Simitis, and a member of its government are involved in the case of Goldman Sachs credit default swaps during the period between 2000 and 2001. The findings are expected to agitate the political scenery in Greece. According to an article published in Real News newspaper, research on the case started on April 30, 2010, after denunciation made by an Austrian magistrate. The magistrate accused Greece of defrauding the European Union and exposing the Eurozone to danger. Members of the PASOK party explained that the exchange of securities was legal at the time and that the European Union was totally aware of the situation. This case is expected to cause serious problems to the government party as its economic policy is highly doubted. In other news, a bomb exploded outside a closed nightclub in Athens, causing serious damage but no injuries. According to a police statement, the blast occurred just before 4 a.m. local time near the city center and was heard across southern Athens. Greek police confirmed that the club was closed at the time of the explosion, resulting in no injuries being suffered. The club's facade was, however, severely damaged. Authorities believe that the attack was linked to criminal extortion groups. The blast happened nearly 24 hours after a bomb hidden on a parked motorbike damaged a courthouse and other buildings and wrecked cars in the Greek capital. Now on to the USA. The USA intends to approve the issuance of diaspora bonds in the first half of January 2011. As soon as the Greek government receives approval, it will sell in March or April diaspora bonds to Greeks all around the world. This procedure is a good source of lending for Greece. Suhas Kitkar, professor of economics at the Nashville University of Tennessee, estimates that if the Greek government offers an attractive bond, the Aspora bond issuance will bring Greece more than $7.5 billion. Now, on to Hollywood. Tom Hanks, speaking to Greek reporters, said that he feels more Greek than a Greek. The superstar talked about his marriage with Greek-American Rita Wilson and the new movie he co-wrote with Mia Vardalos called Larry Crown. In Australia, Theo Tsavdaridis is the first Greek judge of the local court in Australia. He is 34 years old and has his own law office in Enmore, Sydney. The Attorney General of NSW, John Hagistergos, appointed him on December 15, 2010. The Attorney General stated that he is a very experienced lawyer and the most appropriate for this position. Theo Tsavdaridis will take up duties on January 17, 2011. Famous Greek chef George Kalovaris intends to make Greek cuisine as well as Greek products popular all over the world. He owns already five restaurants in Australia and he plans to open two more. He also plans to open restaurants in New York, Athens, and in other capitals of the world. At the same time, he is also well known in Australia and he is the judge of the famous reality show Master Chef. Through the show, he promotes Greek traditional recipes and products. Now, on to Turkey. Turkish officials denied Friday a television channel's claim that Turkey had reached a compromise with the European Union on opening its ports to Greek Cyprus in return for opening negotiation chapters in Turkey's EU accession process. Turkey's chief EU negotiator, Egmenan Bayis, is quoted as saying by the Anatolian news agency that the news of the compromise with the EU to open our ports to Greek Cypriots is not true. Our conditions on this issue are known by all. Foreign ministry officials also denied any compromise reached with the EU. In Germany, Lindenstrasse, the most long-lived TV series of Germany, is now 25 years old. Greek Sarikaiki family plays a very important role in the series and owns Acropolis Restaurant. The members of the family are played by three actors very popular in Germany, Gosta Papanastasiou, Hermes Hodolivis, and Domna Adamopoulos. Gosta was one of the most popular Greeks in Germany, stated, The Greek family is always likable and our family has never been fake. The restaurant looks like the first Greek taverns that opened in Germany where the mother and grandmother used to be in charge of the kitchen. The producers are about to complete the episodes, which will be broadcasted in March and are optimistic about the future of the series even 25 years after its inception. For more news and updates, visit us at GreekReporter.com. And as always, remember, Greeks are everywhere.